morning and welcome back to coffee and bubble time if you're new here hi my name is taylor welcome we make christian videos weekly to help you guys grow in your relationship with god and learn how to study the bible so this week we asked you on instagram what you'd like and you guys said you wanted a personal video and also a like a uh, morning routine or day in the life basically kind of just like one of those casual chill videos just kind of seeing life updates and whatnot and so i decided to do it so here i am it is 8 a.m that is usually when i get up at 8 a.m um i think that's kind of my natural body clock i don't know but i just got on my workout clothes here and i'm about to go to crossfit and i go to crossfit about three days a week so that has been kind of a nice steady constant since i've been home I really like CrossFit because it's for people of all ages, all capabilities, and I was very intimidated when I first began. I went in the city um, for a semester. There was a lot of like business people that went that I did feel kind of like imposter syndrome because I was like 12, not really, but you know, I felt really young. Um, but here in the suburbs, it's so chill. And yeah, excited to go. I've been getting a lot of strength since being there. I mean, honestly, this looks better than how it normally does. I can tell you what our workout is. It kind of looks something like this. There's a strength portion and then there is a conditioning portion. But this is what we use a form workout. I know nobody asked for this, but I feel like YouTubers do that stuff. It's blue. It doesn't even have caffeine in it. I'm not sure how it works, to be honest. These shoes were my investment into my CrossFit career, if you will. No, I'm just kidding. Not really a career, but normally I just wore my running shoes, my Brooks, and those aren't entirely ideal for CrossFit just because you're doing a lot of movements that require like st the stability of a flat shoe and not a shoe that like rocks and is intended to like help your foot have that sort of motion but just something that's like Time to shower, get dressed for the day. I also just wanted to mention that I really like this brand, Good Earth. This is like their lotion bar. I had their other lotion, just like a regular lotion bottle that I like a little bit better than this, but basically they are a um, company that makes a lot of natural products to use. They have their soap too. I clearly like the scent. I also use their um, shampoo bar, which works really well on my hair. It lathers up really nice. And yeah, do I have anything else by them? I'm not sure. Oh, and I also have their deodorant, which I haven't really used yet because I'm trying to use up some of my other ones. But supposedly this has really, really good reviews and you don't get smelly. And as a natural deodorant, I feel like that's kind of hard. So this is typically what I have for breakfast almost every morning. Sometimes I just, I mean, I'm telling you I eat whatever I want, so. But typically, this is what I'll have. I'll just do like a smoothie with almond milk. And then we have some cachava, which we've talked about in the past. It's kind of like a, protein powder slash 
entire meal. I don't know. Um, it's got a lot of good vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. Um, our doctor told us that taking cachava is pretty much the equivalent of taking a multivitamin, which is pretty cool for like a protein powder. It is just more expensive. I only do one scoop instead of um, two though, so it lasts a little longer. And then chia seeds, which I say keeps me going, but you know, down there. But lately, I haven't been eating the healthiest lately. Wild blueberries. And then here's um, this cherry berry blend. Different types of cherries, blueberries, and strawberries. Sometimes I do regular peanut butter and sometimes I do powdered peanut butter. This is what it looks like before I blend it up and... Oopsies. Is that all the amount of protein that I want? I'll add maybe a little bit of collagen. I struggle with getting in protein, I really do. I'm not a big meat person. And if I do too much protein powder in my smoothies, I just don't want to eat it. It just tastes nasty to me. Bottoms up. Not bad. So here I am on my couch, and this has actually been um, a quiet time that I've really enjoyed doing and I find to be manageable. I don't find it to be stressful, and yeah, it's just working for me right now in this season of my life. So what I do is I will start by going to the Dwell app, which we've talked a little bit about before. This is not sponsored or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys something that I like doing. and. Every day they have a scripture of the day. So you can kind of see it right there. And then they also have a devotional that will go along with it. Um, so I can kind of just start by pressing on the scripture of the day. Shepherd, it will read it I for me. He makes me lie. And sometimes I let it read it to me. Sometimes I just like to take my time and go slow. Once I'm done reading that, I will go ahead and I will listen to their daily devotional. And somebody reads it. Hi, this is John. And yeah, it has like a little time of reflection and it always has you taking time to slow down, think about scripture as they kind of explain it to you, as well as um, different like unique activities you can do. Like we just did breath prayers one week and I was just so touched by that like I've never had a breath prayer like really really explained to me and they I felt like they just did such a good job of it I'm not necessarily a routine gal I think actually routines have been the hardest thing for me <sighs> always my whole life and then after I'm done doing that I go in with my prayer journal and this has been a great way for me to try to be more disciplined in prayer and I just find that this is the easiest way for me to do it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Because today's reading was in Psalm 23, he actually encouraged us to memorize this. I'm going to go ahead and do it in this rest and listen section of the prayer journal. Um, this section is a time for you to just sit and be still, to uh, not do anything but just relax and to be in the presence of God. And I think I'm going to do that today by going into a notebook page section, writing out the verse and just kind of sitting and chewing on it for a little bit, resting and thinking about it. And I'm going to do this by writing the first letter of each word. That way I can speed up the memorization process for me as I go through this passage. 
Uh, I've done this before and it seems to work really well for me, so I would totally recommend that for you too. Now, now that I am done with my little quiet time there, I am going to go ahead and start working. I'm going to edit the first part of this vlog. And yeah, that is kind of a fun part about my job is editing videos and just being able to do things with you guys for my job. And that's really special. Oh, and I forgot, I'm wearing these glasses that are probably a bit obnoxious. I probably should have explained it beforehand. Um, yeah, I lost my regular glasses that I do my work computer with, my normal blue light ones. So I've resorted to these blazingly orange glasses. And I find that they do help with reducing headaches. It like blocks all the blue light. I can leave them linked down below if any of you guys are interested. Um, yeah, it works for me. I've, I definitely have gotten less headaches because of it for sure. We just Instacarted some groceries this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and unload these. This is just kind of a regular part of my daily life here at home, helping out with chores, putting things away, um, little things like that. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably go ahead and get back to work after I finish doing this and I might make myself a little snack that I can eat while I work. Cause I am a snacker. I love to snack. So anyways. First snack of the day, didn't record it because I was finishing up putting away all those groceries. A peanut butter cookie. A peanut butter cookie freshly made by Mentor Mama. So yeah, I'm gonna finish working. I just put some tea in a kettle and uh, I'm just having it cool off in the fridge because I like to have it iced elderberry is a really good flavor that I like from Tazo. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get more into loose leaf teas once I'm done with these bags. I have a nice little loose leaf kettle that my mom got me for my birthday and I loved using it when I was at school. I had a lot of loose leaf teas there, but I ran out, so I'm gonna need some more. So to close off this video, I wanted to give you guys some life updates because that I think is kind of a part of the deal about doing like a day in the life is like giving you guys some updates. So yeah, I just thought I would jump into that. First thing I wanted to say was about grad school. I ended up pushing it off to the fall. I needed more time to just relax after my winter term at Moody. I was just completely fried. Like the thought of doing school again was exciting, but it was just I just like was so burnt out and it took me like a couple weeks into my winter break to realize that. I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot go back to do that. Um, so pushed it back to the fall, gives myself some more time to think things through as well as just recuperate. I love managing my own life and like learning new skills with cooking and going on walks and nurturing and taking care of my body through CrossFit and just like building a stable life for myself here has been like really, really nice. And then lastly, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my anxiety. I'm pulling out some supplements here because I feel like that was a big part of helping me rein in my anxiety. Um, many of you guys know this past summer was really hard for me. I ended up seeing a naturopathic doctor i don't know if he would call himself that i think he would he yeah his means of like correcting people's issues are always on the route of natural before it is going to more extremes and so for me 
I was having so much anxiety all summer. It was so debilitating. I went to him. He took a lot of different tests on me and he got me on some supplements, which we should probably be on anyway if we're not getting all the nutrients we need in our diet. But I wanted to show you guys some of these supplements. Um, and I can tell you that I've not experienced the immense amounts of extreme anxiety that I did this summer and I still have struggles with my phobia of throwing up and things like that but it's not to the extreme that it was before when I get triggered by certain things yeah it does flare up a little bit but it's not like I'm living in a constant state of panic like I was this past summer I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm doing because I think it's helpful to see like what somebody else is doing to help them with their anxiety or to help them with their general health and I know that all of these supplements have really helped me in that area. Also, I rarely get acne now and I used to always get huge zits here, hormonal acne right down here during my time of the month. Like every month it was like clockwork, just big zits and I have scars but I've noticed that my acne has diminished and it takes a couple months to get it in your system, but um, without further ado, okay, he's got me on this um, big one pill. It's a women's multivitamin. He's got me on this super omega fish oil pill. Not all of these pills are one size fits all, so I'm not coming out here to be a doctor and say like this will work for you, but I'm just showing you because I think it's helpful. He has me on a probiotic for women. I couldn't really tell you what this is, honestly. P5P plus thing with magnesium in it. I take this at night. And then, oh, two more, I guess. Vitamin D. This amount of strength for me. I know my sister's on a different strength. Um, and then cortisol manager because he noticed in my levels that when he tested me, my cortisol spikes at night, which it should be the lowest at night before you go to bed, and mine went back up. So I've just been doing so much better with anxiety and things like that. And also I think being at home has helped in other ways with my anxiety of just creating stability, routine, and not overwhelming myself with classes and course load because it cannot be underestimated how much damage that can do on a student when they are overwhelmed and burdened to the point of just chronic exhaustion, chronic fatigue. Um, yeah, so that's a bummer about college in general that they just push you, push you, push you till you break down, you know. Um, not to end this video on a dark and sad note. Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. I love you guys so much. It's just such a pleasure to be with you guys, have you in my life. And yeah, I'm so thankful for you all. And I can't wait to continue this journey on YouTube with you guys. And everything that I mentioned in this video, I will try to have a link down below. Okay, so if anything has piqued your interest, I will try to have it linked down below. And yes, we love you so much. Bye. You don't build a foundation in a storm. You build it for the storm. Build and, it while you can. And we're saying the foundation is Jesus. Right. It's our faith. That's where that's where we find stability and hope. And I didn't know that. I thought, oh, we're just always going to be in love and it's always going to be easy. No, mm -hmm. it's super hard. And culture and our families, even our kids' demands and needs pull us apart relationally. Yes. And so if we don't intentionally make sure we're moving toward oneness and we have to fight for that, yeah. we will all just drift toward isolation. I think too, when we're isolated with us as a couple by ourselves, you get used to what you're living in. And so when other people look into it and they say, that is messed up, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's not normal. Where you're like, wait, this is our normal. But someone else with fresh eyes, it's it's affirming us to saying, okay, I thought something was off. And so I think we need people to walk alongside.